a local cell phone call and put in an extension number and hear audio files associated with each of the images and you'll be able to find out more about who made the leap, why they made it, what they thought was important about linking their struggle to that in Palestine and so lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your Women in Black from Olympia, Washington. The sun in the garden, weeping, sweating in fear of what is to come. The olive trees above and the blood pouring into the ground. The trees uprooted, the machines grinding them to dust. We hope someday we will live in a world free of violence. Until that day comes, remember, there is a safe place. We grow food for the food bank and build backyard gardens for 100 low-income families. It's a mighty long road that my poor hands have hold. My poor feet have traveled along the dusty road. Out of your those golden westward we roll. Your deserts was hot, and your mountains was cold. Next we have Jewish Voices for Peace it's from Seattle, Washington. Palestinian workers face extreme exploitation uh, by the Israeli state and the business class here in the U.S. that enables them. It's necessary uh, for a strong international movement uh, to confront that. Well, Iman, that picture was taken by Cindy in the fall of 2003. She's petting a rabbit there. And uh, she's been kind of a symbol to me for seven years of kind of why we do this work. 
Coffee shops at GI Coffee House, located right outside the gates of Fort Lewis. Homo and Native Americans from Point Arena, California. And on top of that, we have the International Jewish Anti-Zionist Network. That was from our indigenous youth delegation. We were blessed to uh, take uh, about um, 12 indigenous youth from Kansas, uh, from the Bay Area, and from New York to Palestine last August for two weeks. It's welfare roulette. The cubicles are the chamber. The caseworkers are the bullets. Which one will I get? Flowers Against the Occupation. It's a group of um, women and girls. <laughs> And then we restarted again on 9-11-2001. And one of the major people for OMJP in uh, the 2000s was Rachel Corey, one of the real groups that she uh, belonged with and also worked with. And many people pointed out after she died that she was the heart and soul of the movement of, Olymp of Olympia. And one, one story I have about Rachel with OMJP is that on September 10, 2001, she made a personal landing getting ready for the next day of a peace vigil where she hid some material behind Les Schwab and spent the night there. And I felt guilty because I had only spent uh, 12 hours working there and she had worked there for 24 hours in a row. So she really was the heart and soul of our uh, of our movement. And also, it's, um, one, one of the points I wanted to point out is that t t today OMJB helped to put on a conference called the People's Mil uh, Movement Assembly. And we had over 100 people there. And one of the, and we dedicated it to, uh, to Rachel Corey. But Rachel Corey is not just a uh, a memory for us, but somebody she's very who's very uh, present. One of the uh, the uh, mur one of the pictures you're going to see is from CISPUS, the Committee of Solidarity People of El Salvador. And one of the things that people say in El Salvador after a movement person dies is that they're presente, the Rachel Corey presente, and she really is present. She really is present, and she's never going to go away. Thank you very much. <laughs>